Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jordan Rodgers, and this is Goodbye Deponia. Hey, Bozo. You will return to Pester Bozo. Didn't you just say you were hungry? What? You heard that? Oh, yeah. They call it selective perception. Sort of a mental superpower that separates the wheat from the chaff. Chaff in the left half of your brain, wheat in the right. <laughs> yeah, ain't I something? If you want to get me something to eat, there's a pie vending machine in the basement. Eh, uh, we'll see. First, I have to find out if that will get me anywhere. What? Well, I bring you something to eat, and then I also get something out of it. That's the way it works. What about a good feeling for having done a friend a favor? Huh? No, not like that. I meant something useful. A uh, bait fish or something. Right. Uh. Let's buy the dock. Hey, dock. Mm. For the thousandth time, Rufus, you'll only get your ball back when you tell me how the leftover pudding got into my particle accelerator. First of all, that wasn't pudding. And second, and... How's the calibration coming? It would go a lot faster if you... <clears throat> got a plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth for relay, right? Um, exactly. Hey, what would you ever do without me? No, no one knows. Let's get out of here. I have to go. You've kept me from my vital professional mission for too long. The farther you are from the room, the less we can bother you. Genius. Can I talk to the guy through the intercom? That'll be interesting. Let's do that. Hello, reception? You are a dead man. I'm what? <laughs> Little joke. This is reception, of course. Always at your service, unless you're the guy stuck in the elevator. Elevator? I haven't seen an elevator here. Neither have I. That's why I can't help you. Please get off the line. Wait, I'm calling from my room. Well, well that's different then. What's your room number? Room five. Really? You loser. Uh, how can I help you? Tell me, you wouldn't happen to have a plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay? Mm, it's possible. Wait a moment while I check in the basement. Hey, I can hear you breathing in the receiver. Mm, you caught me. Nevertheless, you still have to pay your bill for internal telephone calls. Can I do anything else to you? Oops. <laughs> Wrong number. No problem. That happens a lot. We think it's because of the electromagnetic radiation from the nuclear waste dump or the Indian burial ground. One of those. Let me get out of here. Right. Uh, let's do the thing. Let's uh, interact with... Heaters. Hmm. Ah. Ooh. That did a thing. Ooh. Okay. Uh Wait, I need them all to be blue, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, cool, cool. Hey, look at that. <laughs> did it! Rufus 1, Entropy 0. Nice, look at that. Um, so it's bound to be fucking cold. I want to check the toilet. <laughs> Honestly, it's it's interesting. Occupied. Uh, are you ever coming out of there? Don't rush me. Mm. I'm suffering mm, from severe temporal diarrhea. Wow. Mm. Temporal diarrhea? Yes. I'm a time traveler. Mm. You mean you? 
come from the future? Nonsense! Oh, hold on. Jeez. Uh, there is no future. I came from the past to watch the end of the oh, world. Ah, uh, here we go again. Then you're in the wrong place. I'm the guy who's gonna prevent the end of the world. Oh! Mm. That would be very nice of you. Mm. I'm stuck here, you know. Why, is your time machine clogged? Not exactly. There's no more toilet paper. Hey, that was irony. Naturally, I don't believe a word you've said. Well... It wasn't exactly the whole truth. Ha! I knew it! There's... One roll of toilet paper left. But it's as rough as sandpaper. Oh! Oh, and I had the chili during the Toxican Civil War. Jeez. Oh. Ah, that's annoying. Let's 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 check that. There. Hey, what's going on here? Boom, hum, kumbaya. Uh, okay. Uh, hello, you uh, <laughs> you friendly hooded people who clearly belong to a uh, non-violent organization. Um, are you standing in line for the washing machine? Boom, hum, kumbaya. Dooba, 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 Shh. Uh, you wouldn't mind if I, <laughs> if I go first, right? Okay. Act weird once for sure, no problem, pal. Boom, hum, kumbaya. All right. Cool. <laughs> then if if I could just. Uh... Boom, hum, kumbaya. No. The iron. The bus is suit. Wow, freshly washed. <laughs> I don't see a difference. Nice. These things are extremely well suited for digging bits of banana out of high voltage outlets. That's pretty huge, considering there isn't a single bit of clean laundry in the entire hotel. Oh yeah, it's definitely a colossal fucking thing. Uh... You know, open flames in a laundromat is <laughs> it's really not a good idea. That could burn down half the village. And then everybody points at you again. And they take away your flamethrower. And fire the friendly preschool teacher for failing to provide proper supervision. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, actually, let's go to reception. Oh, Cletus. Oh, that's the last thing I need. And the suit must be cleaned on a cold wash. Do I make myself clear? As clear as clay. My assistant will pick it up tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, fill out the registration, Oppenbot, and take good care of the bag with the money. Apparently, only rabble work in this so-called hotel. Somebody works here? Excuse me, Inspector, but isn't that the bag with my plasma exchange whoopie do mammoth fur relay? Don't be silly, Oppenbot. The bags are identical. Yours is already in our room. And that's where I'm going to retire now. I hope it isn't as shabby as the service here. Whew, close shave. I hate that stuck up idiot. Better stay alert. He must be looking for gold, but at least I know where I can get that plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay. Hmm. Ooh, actually. Let's see what Bozo carries around. I have a bag. Underwear? A three-person tent? No, no, wait, that's even more underwear. But, hey, what's this? Shampoo! Do I hold here in my hands the secret of his gleaming curls? <sighs> His gleaming curls. Hey, look at that, it's the bag. I wanna grab the bag and become rich. Huh. Cletus left his briefcase on the kitchen counter. He will regret his carelessness. I bet it's full of planter wart germs. Hmm. 
If I just take it, Oppenbot will notice and sound the alarm. What's missing here is a plan full of arrows and catapults and pitfalls and unpredictable twists. Or at least a couple of cool 3D special effects. Right, okay. Let's replace it with the bag. Hmm, I'm curious. Mm, rare porcelain. Antique crystal. Uh, shards, shards, and more shards. What's he gonna do with all these shards? Ah. Money! I got money! Wow! It's been a while since I had so much money in my hands. <laughs> or any money at all. Yeah. Right. Wow. Or any money at all. Okay. I better stay under cover. All right. Uh. I'm gonna see if I can get some pie. What a bummer! The vending machine only takes coins! Whack! Right, uh... Oh yeah, I could... Could I? Oh, that's wasteful, but... Shrek's done it with pages of a book, so... Here! This should work! Oh, that's nice and soft. Ha! Thank you! I can finally continue my journey. Here, take this. Huh? What's this? Your change. I didn't use it all. And now, off to new shores. Farewell, end times person. Hey, halt! Stop! Oh, great. He's gone. If I didn't constantly imagine things like that, I would probably be really worried now. Good grief, what was he talking about? There's still some toilet paper here. Four ply with an air cushion. Oh, that really is a bit rough. Wow, that even outdoes the pharmacy magazine of the blind drugstore owner. Oof. That was insane. What am I supposed to do? Look in the toilet bowl? Ugh, he didn't even flush. Holy junk, the flush isn't working right. There must be a leak somewhere in the pipes. Ooh. Where could it be? Oh yeah, there's the leak. Is it? There it is. Ah, this pipe is leakier than a rat's bladder. Okay. How am I gonna fix that up? I don't know. Oh, I have a coin. Huh. I always thought the five zloty coin had been taken out of circulation because it doesn't fit in any of the vending machines. And uh, it leaves scars when little kids stick it up their nose. Oh, that really is. Wow, that was it. Oh, okay. So it is, it's not going to fit in here, is it? Ah, oh, rats, the coin is too big. What good is small change if it isn't small enough? All right, let's... Um... See here, sandpaper, coin. That really is a bit rough. Maybe... Ha! It worked! Now that's what I call the inflationary use of bathroom humor. I'm a genius. The coin is a lot smaller now. Now that's what I call... Okay, wonderful. Give me a pie. Yeah, finally! All this money changing has made me really hungry. I think I'll let Bozo go first. Skidoosh. A whole pie. Wowee. Let's check Bozo. <sighs> He's a little cold. Uh, why won't he just get dressed? He's gonna catch the whooping pox. And if he doesn't, I'll get them for him. Friends do things like that for each other. Okay, let's talk to Bozo. 
Hey, Bozo. Cletus is here. He's moved into the room next door. He's probably looking for gold. Oh, no. Did he see you? See me? <laughs> You're talking to the master of disguise, the human cloak of invisibility. Wow. Sneakity sneaker, the sneak attack on the soft underbelly of injustice. Hey, keep it down in there. Well, <laughs> you know. Uh, Rufus, maybe it would be better if you stayed in the room for now. Rubbish! You want a, a plasma desma thingy thingy? Well, I will get you a plasma desma thingy. But Rufus. Shh, you don't want Cletus to hear you, do you? Right. Uh, sorry, I've got to go. Uh, you want some uh, pie? What have you got there? Something to eat. What else? A pie? Huh. That's really nice of you. I'm sick with hunger. You know, blue tongue, cough, sniffles, fever. Looks like whooping pox. You should have put on your clothes, like I told you. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. With some pie in my stomach, things will look completely different. Well, can I have the pie now? Yeah, I don't think it's quite ready yet. What? Oh, uh, yeah, right. Fine then. Yeah. Uh, let's see what I can do. Can I do something with the pelican? Maybe pepper? Gesundheit. <laughs> right, uh, what about the salt? Let's see if it appreciates me spicing things up a little. Don't mention it. Oh. Got thirsty because of salt. Can I? Ah, oh, yeah. Smart. I can keep it open. There. Time for a break, herring breath. <laughs> That's what you get, bird brain. Animal cruelty. Ugh. Slimy. Nope. There's no way I'm sticking my hand in there again. It still smells like fish. Uh, no. Wait, that, that, that's my thing. What a shame. I got the fish. Doesn't look all that bad to me. And I'm sure the smell will go away when it's cooked. Dope. Oh, I have a knife. Can you do that? Let's see if I can make something tasty out of it. Yeah, it consists entirely of fermented gas. Now all that's left are the scales. Oh yeah, I I need to prank. No, is it prank? Yeah, it, it is prank. Let's prank this here. Um, could I prank him with some dust? Put it in his hood. Absurd humor is okay in itself, but I can't waste this unique opportunity on another cheap pun. I'm thinking of the fans who love my pranks for their cryptic ambiguity. Right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> but I can't waste this unique opportunity on another cheap pun. I'm thinking of. Uh, what about the scales? Flaky dandruff in a bald man's hood. Ingenious. If there was such a thing as self-marriage, I would propose to myself. Right. Could I bother you again? Yes, you seem to have a penchant for that. Your pals are clogging up the laundry. Patience, my friend. The ritual won't take long. Yeah, what are they waiting for then? I need to use the washing machine. Well, they are waiting for their guru, of course, for me. Then what are you doing here? I am preparing for my big the world doesn't come to an end every day. I want to look good. Uh, how about you put on your hood? What are you doing again? I am preparing for my big speech. The world doesn't come to an end every day. I want to look good. 
I think you look just fine. Oh, you think so? Hmm. Maybe you're right. I... Oh, yuck! What is that? Oh, I have dandruff! This is a catastrophe! And I swapped all the hotel shampoo for cigarettes on the black market! Don't just stand there! Do something! Daha! I have shampoo! Shampoo? My salvation! Out with you! I have to shower! Oh, the ghost is go. Ah ha 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 ha! <laughs> the ghost is doing his haunting thing. I won't bother him now. Hmm. Right. The arrival of the destroyer is nigh. Hooga hooga hoo shally. The arrival of the destroyer is nigh. So nigh. Hooga hooga hoo shallali. Hooga hooga hoo shallala. Ugh. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I hope I get to see you next time. Farewell.